One of the biggest challenges I myself have encountered, and I've also watched other people encounter as well, particularly in the space of creating content for YouTube, is keeping all of those description links organized. If you make videos for YouTube, there's a pretty good chance you've got a Google Doc or a spreadsheet or something that you copy and paste from for every single video. You've got all your social links, you've got your products, your courses, your tools, the gear that you use, and you're just copy and pasting them into every video. And then maybe if you have some links that are specific to that video, you only copy and paste the links that belong in that video. Of course, all option. And while that is a super helpful mechanism for us as creators to be able to drive people to our course or to other social media platforms or to products or services that we like and recommend, again, organizing it all can be quite a pain, particularly if one of those links change and you have hundreds of videos with that link that's incorrect. So let's go ahead and take a quick look at an example of this, right? So here is an amazing creator who produces a ton of products and services and recommends and promotes a number of really good products and services as well. And all of them are linked out in the description. And realistically, there isn't really a better way to handle this until now. So I've created a new tool by the name of TubeLinks and in this video, I wanna walk you through how to use it and how it can save you as a creator some serious time and make it easier for your viewers as well. So let's go ahead and jump in. Okay, so to get started, all we have to do is set up our free account where we can claim our username and then click create your page. So what I'm gonna do just to get started here is click add a new link. And let's say we have this nice little affiliate link that we want to point people to for the camera bag that we like to use or we want to offer, paste in the URL. And then we have the option here to create a category. So we can just have a single list of links that we can provide just to make it really simple. Or if you wanna get a little bit fancier and create categories of links, which we'll take a look at here in a second, you can do that as well. So I'm gonna create one that says camera here. Here is the bag I use and recommend. And then click make it so. And then what we see here is we've got a tab for our main links, which we don't have any of yet. And then we have a tab for camera gear. So let's go ahead and add another link here. There we go. And we're going to go ahead and we're not going to create or add it to an existing category. We're just going to add it to the main links and then click make it so. And then we'll see here under main links, we now have our link showing up and we've got that second tab as well. If we click this top right hand button up here, we can actually go through the process of starting to update our profile. So if we wanna change our name to actually be spelled out as opposed to the username version, if you've ever watched Groundhog Day, you probably know the Phil Connors reference, but then we can add in all of our social profiles as well. So there we go. Of course, we can add Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok. We're just gonna add YouTube for now. And then we'll go ahead and click make it so. It's been updated and there we go. So for the photo, all we have to do is under profile, click this link, and then we actually use Gravatar to pull in your photo. So you can just go ahead and click this link to set up your profile picture. But just that easy, you've got your profile up and running. You've got your bio, your name, your social links, and then all of the other links that you want to share. Now those things work great for a YouTube channel that's just getting started, but fortunately I've also baked in a number of pro features which go even further. So let's take a look at some of those. So for this example, we're gonna take a look at my personal page just to kind of take a look through some of the pro features. So with the free version, you get two additional categories that you can create, but with the pro version, you can create unlimited. So I've actually just created three and you can kind of see how that breaks down. I've got my main links, I've got my favorite Mac apps, since I do a lot of videos and tutorials where I recommend different apps. I've got the video gear that I use, since that's something that I get questions about all the time. And then I've got some of my video playlists on YouTube as well, since people tend to like to stick to a particular topic and go through those videos. Also with the pro version, I have the ability to search. So somebody can just go ahead and start typing and then they can instantly see any of the items throughout all of the different types of links that you offer. So if you've got hundreds of links in here and you want somebody to be able to find one instantly, they can do that. Then we also have all of the social links in here as well. Another thing that's really handy is the ability to view analytics. So you can see within the last 30 days, how many people are hitting your various pages, how many unique visitors there are and how many clicks. And then you can also see the top 10 for which links are receiving the most clicks. So it can give you a little bit of a behind the scenes view so you can 
tailor your page a little bit better to know what's performing better than other links. And then arguably my favorite feature that I've added in here is the ability to create video specific links. So let's take a look at what that looks like. So all I have to do is type add new link. Let's say here is a great link, link from this video. Type in the link itself. And then we've got options here. So again, we can create as many different categories as we want as a pro user. But then we can also create a video specific link. And then a new field pops up asking us for the YouTube URL. And this can be the full YouTube URL or the share URL that YouTube provides you as well. Then one of the other things we can do is we can allow it to auto generate an image. See what you noticed previously is that all of my links have a nice little image off to the left that's being auto generated. And again, it's a pro feature. And we'll click make it so. But this time what we'll see is it's redirected to a brand new page, which includes the video that I had included. And then off to the right, it has all of the links that are specific to that video. The great thing is that this doesn't show up on this, on any of these lists here. You're not gonna see it on your main links and none of your tabs. But if you ever wanna access one, you can just pop back, back over to your video specific links, find the one that you just created, and then you can just keep adding links over and over again. And again, it's specific to this video. And then if we scroll down again, they have access to all of the other links that you have available as well with that same tabbed navigation for the categories as well as the search feature. And if somebody ever wants to go back to your main profile, they can just click on your profile picture and they're off and running. Then if you ever need to, you can jump back over to that tab that says video specific links if you don't want that page anymore, for whatever reason, you can just go ahead and delete it. And that particular page with all those links will instantly disappear. So let's go ahead and take another look at a video specific link. So I had made a video recently about the best video gear for beginners, where again, I broke down specific camera gear that I recommended for people getting started. Again, you'll notice that it's got that nice embedded video off to the left. And then it's got the nice list of camera gear that people can go through that is connected to that video. So again, if you've got gear reviews, if you've got app reviews, if you've got tutorials that have a lot of links specific to that video, again, you can create a nice user-friendly page with your video instead of having to pack all this into multiple description links. So instead of needing to create a big, long list of links in every single YouTube video, instead what you can do is just go to your profile, copy and paste directly into that, and that replaces all of your other links. And then if you wanna get a little bit fancier, which is something I do, again, you're totally fine just to use that single link, but if you want to, you can actually provide links to specific categories. So if you wanna only provide a link to, you know, for example, this category, favorite Mac apps, I can do that. And then we've got my favorite Mac apps and it's got the link directly to that category. So as we can see, open up an incognito window and it's gonna take people directly to that tab. Or again, you can just make it really simple and just say things I recommend and then just link to your TubeLinks profile where they'll be able to access everything. And then again, if we've got that specific video link, that you wanna add just for that video, type that out, paste it in, and there you go. We've replaced something like this with two single lines. And then from that point, you can save the description space for something a little bit more valuable, like an actual description or something you've written out or questions you wanna ask to the audience or whatever else you want, so that all of the links can live in one location and you don't have to worry about, again, having a massive list of links that you have to manage for each individual video. Of course, the added benefit of this is that as you're going through and creating YouTube videos, you won't have to worry about going back three, four, five, six, seven videos back and update each of those individually with your new Twitter handle if it changes, for example, or with a new product that you just launched. All you have to do is go to one place to your TubeLinks account, update it once, and then it's changed across all the videos, of course, that have that TubeLink added to it. So that's pretty much it. This is just something that I've personally found super frustrating, so I just decided to make a solution to it. So hopefully it is valuable to you as well. So as always, if you did find this video useful, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and I look forward to seeing you in the next one.